He's shy, don't mind it. <laughs> so, hello everyone, welcome in this new video. I think uh, everyone is waiting for this kind of video right now because maybe you have seen it on Facebook, we are testing the polyhedral energy. So, uh, it's exactly the same as a standard energy, it's the same wing. And by the way, it's Christophe Bourdon, the designer of the energy. And um, as I know, I will say energy, even if it's energy, but uh, I will say energy because it's how we pronounce it in French. So, as I was saying, uh, this is exactly the same glider as a standard energy, just we cut the wing, uh, as you can tell here, the three cuts, and uh, we did a polyhedral. And because the standard is a simple dihedral. Yes, with seven degrees per half wing. So uh, I don't remember exactly the, <laughs> the, the angles that you got. We tested many things, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's it's a polyhedral. And uh, thank you, by the way, to Joe Wurz for his help by thank talking you, with us because we talked a bit and we asked him uh, a lot of things, and he kindly replied to us. And uh, so thank you a lot, Joe, for your help. And so uh, it's a bit because of Joe also that we are testing this because if you have not followed the news in the F3K world, uh, Vladimir's models uh, with the help of Joe Wurtz made the Yoda. So the Yoda is kind of the first of a new kind of F3K glider with a polyhedral wings and four servos for the wing. So as right now for us there is four in the pod and two in the wing uh, and I think it's great but maybe soon we will see more four in the wing or something like this because now we have really small servos like the KST X or 6 and uh, I need to say it worked really well so um, yeah that's about it about the presentation of the glider I think uh, about the weight, maybe. Uh, this one is 210 grams ready to fly. It's a, it's a standard with a thick stream wing. And this one is a standard also, but because of the servos in the wing, plus the wires and everything, it's 25 grams more, uh, plus the weight of the different pieces that are a bit heavier. So it's 242 grams. So maybe you will think, ah, this one might be a bit too heavy. You will see in the, in the clips I will roll right now. Uh, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so let's talk a bit now about uh, feeling in the air. Uh, what do you think about it? Um, so um, I have something like in two hours of flight on the polyhedron. You have, you are maybe, uh, you have maybe flown uh, fifteen uh, hours longer now. <laughs> something like this. Um, so. Uh -huh. It's easier. In, the, in general, it's really uh, an easier solution. Uh, there's less spent of energy in flight. Um, with the four deflections we of the four servos, we are optimizing, as Joe uh, has stated in, this study, in his study, um, we are spending less energy to do the same thing, and uh, it's uh, it's bringing a forgiveness in. Uh, in flight, in all maneuvers, and uh, the, uh, all is easier. You will you will see in video. Um, we will we will try to uh, to make demonstration about um, the handling, and um, we will ask the glider um, different things. Uh, we will, you will see that uh, how um, the dif how the difficulties are a little bit erased uh, with the polyhedral. So you you are. You you are you dare more uh, to do some uh, some turns some tight turns or you are spending less energy so you know uh, intuitively uh, that uh, the, the flight will be better and you are confident in everything it's uh, as Joe said it's a it's a bit a revelation so um, for the next design we are we are thinking really to uh, to go with polyhedral or. For deflection servo system, we will see. But um, yes, because if we are here, I think you think 
I think you see it, it's not just to film a video, it's to test something, to see what we will do because we want to develop a new glider for the next few seasons and hopefully a lot of yours. <laughs> so yeah, we are work working on something and because Joe and Vladimir did the polyhedro, we want to see if it's really something we need to go for. And I, by resuming a bit what you said, this type of glider is easier in the air. Uh, just in turns, the fuselage is way more steel. Uh, it's always horizontal. It's just so much easier in turns to predict what the glider will do. And you just compensate a bit. You anticipate just a tiny bit and that's it. It's a really clean turn. You don't need to fight the glider and it's yeah it's like a bit of cheating code and <laughs> yeah I, I feel I feel like this from my point of view it's yeah it's it's a cheating code because F3J F5J these categories of uh, thermal flying gliders use polyhedral so why not F3K uh, and now I understand really why not uh, because it's easier handling and easier to understand what's happening and it's not everything is easier and uh, understand me uh, it's the tuning uh, is more difficult uh, because you have four ailerons two flaps two ailerons so you have more differential to tune more snap flap to tune more combo to tune but once it's tuned i feel like uh, the glider can give it back to you better than a single diadro even if it's less the pure aspect uh, of F3K that we know with really simple glider <laughs> even if today it's full carbon really amazing machine but uh, yeah I think for still the four servos one are the purest one but as for the ease of flight uh, it's really I, I will say it's a new standard. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> so, <laughs> I uh, think you've seen it on the, the clips I rolled through when we were talking, but yeah, this kind of glider is easier, it responds better to ailerons, it wiggles less uh, from the rudder and from the fuselage when you input ailerons, even if the differential is perfectly tuned on my uh, standard DLG with simple DLG. Uh, it's just more efficient. We we can't do anything about that. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. And yeah. Uh, thank you a lot. And uh, I think you will see more about this kind of glider soon. If you want to see me fly it more, and if you want to ask me some questions, feel free to ask in the comment down below. Uh, I'm here to reply, and I think it's really important about that. Uh, so yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye. Ciao.